Hey guys, it's Krista. It's been a while since I have done a video, so I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys um, some of the stuff that I have found over the last couple of weeks um, or things that I have ordered uh, to kind of play with and things like that. So I'm just going to dive right in on some of my favorite things that I found over the last couple of weeks that I think you guys would like. Maybe um, if you're looking for Christmas gift ideas to tell your family and friends to get you guys, uh, the, these are some of my favorite things that I found. So first of all, um, I found this super cute, let me, let me set this to the side. I found this super, super cute six by six paper pad at Michael's. It's by Craftsmith and I mean, it's, it's so cute guys. Okay. So we're going to do a little flip through of this. Um, this is actually still closed, but that's okay. So there's, you know what? Let's do this. I've already actually taken this apart. So, um, this one, I'm doing a video very shortly where I'll be showing several projects that you can do with this six by six paper pad. And so I've already taken some of these out, but just know there's, there's double of each of these. So there's this super cute one with the, the snowman, or I mean with the Santa Claus it says happy holidays and they're foiled. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's so pretty. Um, little, little snowman, um, foiled Christmas tree, pattern paper. This one says drink and be merry like with little hot cocoa things. Um, there's Merry Christmas with a, uh, polar bear on the front. And this is kind of a sample of that class or that video I'm going to be doing. We have... Like I've done some, some embossing on the corners and stuff, but this guy, he's actually 3D. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I'm going to be showing y'all guys a whole bunch of projects to do with just this one paper pad. And then there's more Christmas trees, a foil that is just so pretty. Uh, there's a whole bunch of little tags in here. Some more pattern paper, some striped pattern paper. Let's build a snowman. I have the cutest project for this page. And then Merry Christmas, Merry and Bright stuff here, stuff like that. So anyway, um, I mean, $5.99 and most of the time the Christmas is 40% off, 50% off. So this thing is super cheap and so full of the cutest stuff. So anyway, I thought you guys would like that. Anyway, so that's number one. Um... Fun Stamper's Journey sells these uh, gel pads, gel presses, I think is what they call them, and I am really excited to get to play with this. Um, they just offered these uh, in our new catalog, and it's a piece of jelly plate. Let me pull that front and back off. So it's like this jelly plate. And you can put things like paint on it, and then you put stencils on them and paint on it, and then it's like a gel press where you, or a print press, where you put paper down and you pull it up and there's all these cool patterns on it and stuff. So I'm not going to show you guys, I'm not going to demo this right now because I'm actually working on a video where I'll be demoing this later, but i uh, really excited to play with that. If you've never seen the gel press before or the jelly plate or anything like that, be sure to check out that video when I get that done. So um, that was one of the fun, fun tools that I picked up this month along with uh, some stencils. I went ahead and ordered those. Um, I, picked, I bought... This I found at a scrapbooking garage sale that I went to, and uh, there are little Christmas trees, just some dies, and I thought that was kind of fun. Something I don't have to pull out my big machine for. I can just make some quick Christmas cards with that. Um, Tim Holtz came out with these a couple of months ago, and I've been really, really wanting to play with them. This is set number one and two distress crayons. 
they are water activated and um, they kind of they remind me a lot of gelatos um, but I think you have a little bit more control with these and a lot more colors available so I picked up these I'll be doing a video soon demoing how those work um, I got I got I've seen these many times and I've never actually bought them, but I'm I'm excited to try them out. My stamps, if you're like me, you have a thousand acrylic stamps and they're just sitting in a box and it's it's not very pretty. Um, and they're in their original packaging and the packaging has fallen apart. So somebody recommended that I order these Avery L um, large stamp and die storage packs. I actually found them at a store in uh, Wichita Falls and so I went ahead and picked up one package there's 50 of them in here for $12 there's 50 of them in here and I I probably have 200 stamps so if this works out good for me I'm gonna be ordering some more but I liked the size of this so and then some Bible journaling stuff um, I love almost everything by Illustrated Faith of course but they just came out with these things called tip ends and they're kind of, I guess they go in the margin of your Bible, if you have a journaling Bible. Um, and they have all these different, almost like bookmarks, and they tear out real easy. But you could easily just tape this into your Bible or glue it in there and write on it. Um, you could do some, some coloring on here. So there's so many different ones in here um loved at my darkest so there's some really cute ones in here this one's more just journaling i guess like you would write your prayers down and stuff um this one i was <laughs> i love this one um super bright colors but then it says like ways i can enjoy god's work and verses that bring me joy so it's a little bit more than just open ended what it, you know do your own thing which you know it's not a bad thing um this one's more specific so i liked that ways i can celebrate this day sweet things in my life so anyway this one was just full of that. Both of these were only $4 and you can get them at uh, Mardell's or Lifeway Christian Bookstore out by the mall. Um, and obviously you can find them on Amazon as well. Um, really, really, really happy to finally get one of these. Um, if you have been scrapbooking with me for a while you know that I have the old Hampton art stamp platform stamp perfect and I love it it's it's uh I use it all the time but it's poorly made these little things are breaking off so I had to use washi tape to hold them in place it doesn't always stamp down exactly where it's supposed to be um so I went ahead and splurged and got one of these it's the Tim Holtz stamp platform I'm going to go ahead and just break this out. I will be doing another video unboxing and playing around with this, but I just wanted to real quickly you can see it's big, it's heavy. Um, this plate is very thick, and what I love, it comes off so you can flip it, and it has a metal bar that runs through here, so no more breaking. Um, I, I just, I really like that. So anyway, it goes back together real easy. I say that and then let me see. It's supposed to go the other way, but well. I promise I've done I've already taken this out and done this. There you go. You just gotta make sure it gets all the way down in there and close it up. Uh it is magnetic back, so it does come with some magnets. Um I will add washi tape to these like I did my others, but I went ahead and ordered these metal bars. To go with it they're little but they're longer so I'd be able to hold a, a piece of paper in place a little better and they're they're very powerful um, so I'm I'm excited to play with this and show you guys how this works I love that it's got the um, the ruler on here and that it is open open-sided 
So there's no border on this side, and there's no border on this side. So I can actually get a 12 by 12 sheet of paper in here. So anyway, let me put this away. Be watching for that video because I will be doing a video on this very soon. Okay. And then I went ahead and picked up a 12 by 12 pack of Christmas. Uh, it's by Echo Park. I actually bought this from, um, what is this, the Tuesday morning. So I got it for a little bit cheaper. But there's so much, so much cute stuff. All these pattern papers are in here. Uh, they're all double-sided. And then they have these three. This is stickers, and these are cutouts, and then, so, I mean, so cute, and I love these colors. So I'll be using this to uh, scrapbook my Christmas stuff this year, and my favorite find of the week. This, um, somebody online posted this, and it took me, <laughs> it took me several, several trips to finally track this sucker down. Um, it's in the hot buy section at Michael's. It's by Recollections, but it's only in the hot buy section. So watch that sale, watch that rack. They had, they only had two left when I went. I don't know if they have any more in the back or not, but this is a Bible journaling 12 by 12 pack. And I'm going to do a quick flip through with this because it's, it's just awesome. And I think you guys would like it too. Um, it's foiled. So it does have some really pretty stuff in here. And it has things like Jesus, my Redeemer. Um, and then there's the ones that are not foiled. There's like three sheets of. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. Psalms. This is all foiled. I love this paper. I cannot wait to use this. Isn't it pretty? The hearts, oh, so pretty. There's some more. I think this is in Psalms. These are tags. They are already pre-cut for you. You just pop them out. You have all these really pretty tags. God is love. Pretty. Uh, these are not pre-cut. These are... Um, you can just cut them out yourself, but it is foiled. There's some more. And I love how everything's kind of perfect for adding to your Bible already. Or you could make a card. You could do cards out of this. This would make a beautiful card. Again, those that are not foiled, you get three sheets of. So you could do these for your kids. Isn't that pretty? Mm, love the polka dots. It's almost, I mean, it's like a watercolor pack too. So I'm really big into watercoloring right now, of course. Ooh, look at the birds. Aren't they pretty? So, and it really goes along very well with anything by Illustrated Faith. Like any of this stuff would fit together real easily. Um, same thing with this. This, I mean, almost all the same kind of colors used. It's got the same kind of feel to it. Oof. That would be pretty on a boy page. I love this daily meditation log. This would be great in your book of me. Um, if you don't have a book of me, this would be great to start one and put one in there. But basically where your children can read about, you know, the date and the verses that you read and what you thought about it and the prayer you made and stuff like that. So oh, I love that. And there's three sheets of that. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Bush Corinthians. And then this, um, it's again, it's kind of like these tip-ins. 
Um, they're just real small. They are not pre-cut, but you could cut those out real easy. They are foiled. And um, it just has things like meditation, um, gratitude, things I'm gra grateful for today, supplication, prayer schedule. So, so cute. And this thing, guys, I got this on sale for $5. This whole pack for $5. Um, if I see any more when I go back, I'm going to go get them. So if you live in my area, you better go stock up on one because I'm going to get them. Um, just because I can see myself using this for a very long time. Anyway, that is my haul for basically November. That's everything I've bought in November that I thought was worth sharing. And um, just kind of some heads up of some videos that I'm going to be doing this month for December and into the new year. And if there's anything you saw that you have questions about, feel free to leave me a message in the comment section. Or you can contact me on Facebook. I am under Krista Marie Design on Facebook. And I will be happy to answer any questions, point you in the right direction, get you links, things like that. Thanks.